Hey, I'm Chip. Welcome to my channel. This week's video is going to be about making specialty tools for seeding the seals on a Whirlpool direct drive style washing machine. Now, there's two seals that need to be sealed and seated on these machines. There's one in the uh, center post shaft of the, of the washing machine, and there's another in the spin tube of the washing machine. And they're really hard to get in there without messing them up if you don't have the right tool. And there's not one available out there that I know of. I'm sure the people at the factory have a special way of, of doing that. So in the past, I've used uh, PVC pipe of the appropriate sizes, and I've tapered the ends of them using a wire brush on a bench grinder. But that hasn't worked out very well because when you pound it with a hammer uh, enough times, the, the PVC will crack. And sometimes it, it, just, it just doesn't work that well. So I got my calipers out. Got the right sizes for the inside and outside diameters of, of the uh, the seals that I, I need to see and the areas that I need to see them in. You know, I went to an online uh, metal supply place and got the tubing that I needed. And in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how I took the tubing and I modified it to make these uh, specialty tools. And I mean, if you're if you're just doing this one time, use PVC. But if you're a professional and you and you uh, do this a lot, get this brass pipe. It's really really nice. Anyway, I'll see you on the other end. So, I um, I have been using PVC pipe to seat these seals, and it's um. It doesn't hold up very well because you pound it on it, and it cracks, and um, it's the the dimensions are just not correct. So you have to take it and put it on a wire brush wheel and taper the end of it to slip it over this seal right here. So this seal has a uh, rubber coated metal ring in it, and what? I decided to do to seat this seal and the seal that I'm talking about goes in the end of this spin tube so I'll show you what I'm talking about here I bought this pipe this brass pipe and it's heavy walled and I needed to get the dimension right. I needed it to be heavy enough so that when you pound on it, it won't bend and distort and all that. Uh, that's what my idea was thinking. I might have, I might, uh, should have just got some tubing that uh, had the, the same dimensions here. And I might try that, but I, I think I've got this where I want it. I'll just taper the inside of this where it'll fit over this seal because it fits perfectly if you look at it. It will fit perfectly just inside on top of this um, metal ring. And the size of this pipe is one inch OD by uh, 0.125 wall in a uh, three-quarter inch uh, inside so you got you see one inch OD by 0.125 wall by 0.75 inch brass round and what I'm thinking is take this tapered bit and take it down to the inside I don't know how dangerous a drill. Uh, I'll take it slow. But I'm going to try to drill out the inside of that. So this taper part will fit in there snugly and this wall will fit right on the edge of that. Uh, this may be a very uh, I need to go up some. 
might be crazy to do this, but we're gonna try it. This is self-center. Just take it slowly. Remember to wear your safety glasses. It's not exactly working right. Let me get my safety glasses. The safety squints are not working this time. I hope this isn't in the way of the mirror of the camera. Let's see. perfect right there yeah I'm not going to do it I'm not going to go any further than that see it compresses the inside of the, the deal so I've tapered this out do this did here and I believe that will be perfect and it kind of shifted this direction I may need to file that down and bring it bring it more centered sharp edge on it. Okay. Yeah. The problem is centering up that bit. Machinists out there have a better. So the way this will work now, I can probably cut this in half. I got a thick wall which I can hit on pretty pretty well. But if you look at a transmission, here's one right here. Your spin tube like this. And you're, so you would put this new seal on and you'll be able to hammer it over the top of this 
Oh, yeah, we got a, a burr right here. It should fit snugly over the top of that shaft, and you can hear, and it will clear all that. I certainly don't want to get that. I will take a piece of sandpaper. So, I'll take sandpaper. Certainly don't want to hammer this on and get it stuck on a heavy transmission shaft. It's important that it fits snugly so it won't damage the seal. on that shaft now oh perfect yeah so you just need to clear those ears and it does and it fits perfect inside that that's going to be a great tool If I need that much length on it, though. Yeah, I could probably cut that in half. But, give me a little more hammer room. I just don't want to... Now, I'm thinking I might get some more brass rod. The same inside diameter put it in there and, and uh, solder it in so that it'll be a solid top to hammer on so this is one inch OD point one two five wall that's the, this is the wall and a three quarter inch inside diameter Yep, that's what that is. That's the size pop you need, and 
You need to modify it a little bit so that you don't uh, get it caught on your on your shaft. Now, when you put these back in there, make sure these the you take sandpaper to the the shaft too, so it won't have any scars because this might get caught in there. I uh, don't have the other chuck the chuck that would fit this drill. Or I'd run this drill down to there, which is the size of that shaft. What are you talking about? So anyway, that was the that was for the transmission shaft seal. Now I do have at the same time I bought this piece of pipe. And this piece of pipe is one and a half by 0.04 wall by 1.42 inside diameter and this is for um, the seal that sits in the in the center post this is the seal now if you see this wall here it has to fit this seal has a a uh, metal rubber coated edge to it and it needs to fit over that and it fits perfectly but does it fit here this is the center post and that that's a seal and it fits perfectly now the problem I have with this is the edge of it is collapsing so I was thinking about maybe Taking a, a uh, piece of hickory and turning it maybe that far and making the edge taper up with a shoulder on it to hold that. And so that I could hit on the end of it, kind of like a, a, a wood chisel bit. But that, this is what I'll be using in the future. To see these seals just had to modify that one just a little bit I uh, I got it maybe a little heavier than I could I don't know if I could find the wall maybe I could find that the wall of it that diameter but these right here will work for me now but I'll have to modify this big one and this small one too to make it hammerable. Now that's how I made these uh, these tools, and they seem to work just perfectly. The only thing I will say is you should take some hickory or a real tough hardwood, and if you don't have a lathe, get a friend that has a, a wood lathe and spin down a handle that will fit in the end of these pipes, so that you can uh, hammer on it without damaging the end of, end of the uh, tube. Uh, anyway, hopefully, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Check it out.